What's up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're gonna be doing a Gears of War 4 beta kind of impressions video or initial impressions videos, essentially of Gears of War 4, not just the beta, but uh, that is where I'm getting my information because the beta did just end a little while ago. Um, so basically, I did get a chance to play it, not as long as I would have hoped, but I did get enough to actually get uh, a good amount of clips for you, so that's what you'll see here. Um, but uh, I did get enough to actually formulate an opinion of it and kind of see some positives and negatives. And I'll, I'll be honest, there's not too many negatives. Uh, I'll start off with the negatives first. Um, one is I'm pretty sure these were dedicated servers. Uh, I know that the hit registration felt really on point. It did not feel like I was, uh, like anyone was eating my shots. As a matter of fact, it felt really, really good. Um, uh, very similar to like Gears of War Ultimate. Uh, pretty much every Gears of War for a while has had dedicated servers. Even on the 360, on Gears of War 3, the dedicated servers were in place, but not all the time were they online. Uh, but, but the fact of the matter is here is that Gears of War has consistently had dedicated servers in their games for a while now. Even again, going back to 360. And it's just kind of a shame, I'll just put this out there, it's just kind of a shame that Call of Duty has yet to implement this. Halo implemented this, uh, which is fantastic because Halo is another game that would really benefit from it. Any game would really benefit from dedicated servers. But Call of Duty is one of those titles that like they make a Call of Duty yearly and they make so much money on this. And it just it just blows my mind that they can't incorporate some dedicated servers where a game like Gears of War can, which arguably could be the most or, or the least popular of Halo, Call of Duty and, uh, you know, and, and Gears of War. Gears of War more than likely is the least popular, which means that it does make the least amount of money, um, you know, in terms of what the developer actually gets. So it's it's weird that these, that this developer is so, you know, has been so consistent and so good about putting up dedicated servers. And, and this is in no way to like, you know, hurt or, or, or say anything bad about the Gears of War title or, or anything like that, because it's a fantastic game. It's just surprising to me that they've been so consistent and where, where games like Call of Duty have not even had a dedicated servers game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and again, Halo just recently implemented it um, in, the, in, in Halo 5. So, you know, when it comes right down to it, I'll, I'll get into the positives now. Again, the hit registration was really on point. I love the map design. Very, very cool. Uh, you know, it, it, again, felt very Gears of War-like. It was very interesting to play on. The maps were nice. I like the design. I like the, the routes you could go. The, you know, it, there, it was a lot of pathways. That's kind of what I liked about it. For some people, that might be overwhelming, but to me, I really enjoyed that, that aspect of it. Um, when it came down to it, uh, I really like the, I, I know it's not much when it comes to like, the core gameplay, but the graphical design of the game is phenomenal. Uh, I, I love the way it looks. It just it just feels really nice. Again, that's another thing that you know, aside from the graphics, but it just feels nice. Like the the movement feels nice. The only thing that was weird, and that's why I brought that the you know whether or not it was on dedicated servers was the fact that it seemed that the characters were jumpy a bit. Like they would kind of skitter around on you know from what you were seeing. But when you're actually maneuvering, it felt very it felt felt very fluid. It felt very you know natural. But whenever you were like looking at somebody, it looked like they were jumping around a teeny bit, you know, in some cases, not all the time, but I did notice that happened, so I figured I'd bring it up. It wasn't a major thing, but it definitely deserves to be said here. Um, but aside from that, I mean, very good game. I'm excited about it. Of course, I'm excited about the, the, the storyline. The, the Locust uh, enemies, I'm not sure whether that's just for online or not, but it does seem like the Locusts are back. They look a lot different than what they used to. They look less scaly. Uh, they, their armor looks very disheveled. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe we'll see that in the storyline. Maybe not. I don't know. But it looks like a really good game. Again, the, uh, another thing about the maps is the colors are really nice. I like the colors of the maps. I know these are all kind of unimportant things when it comes to core gameplay, but it's all important when it comes to how much we'll enjoy the game. Uh, and again, map design, making sure that you're, you're playing on fun maps. I think that's down par, at least from the three that I saw. Of course, there could be other ones that we don't know about that might not be as good. But from what I saw, the maps were very good. Um, I think my least favorite was... The one with the crane, it was like some sort of, I forget what, what, what map it was. I think you'll see it here. Uh, it, was, it was like some, kind of like a construction site or something. That was my least favorite, but I really enjoyed the other one. The one that was like uh, like a shipment place. Um, and then the, uh, what was that other one? Uh, it was like some some sort of stronghold, some sort of like, like uh, you know, actual, uh, I guess, layout of a, of, a, of a house or like some sort of environment. I'm not sure what it was, what it, what it really was. Like I said, a stronghold is probably the best way to describe it. But in any case, again, my initial impressions, I liked the beta. I only got to play a little bit of it. Unfortunately, I wish I would have gotten to play more because I probably would have gotten back into my groove. Again, Gears of War is one of those games that you just need to really, 
you know, play quite a bit to actually be consistently good at. And that's, you know, just like any other game that's got a high learning curve, like Halo or anything like that. Um, you know, you really need to be consistent with it or else you kind of fall off a bit. And it takes a little while to get back on track. Of course, you'll, you know, have all the strategies and skills in your head, but in terms of the muscle memory of it, in terms of your, your shot being on point, all that stuff does need to get back on track. And I was just kind of getting into it when we actually ended up stopped playing the beta, uh, which is why you saw some of those clips at the end or some of those clips towards the end where I was taking on multiple opponents and taking them out, which is something I was able to do before much more consistently because I was really good at maneuverability and, you know, placing my shots correctly and timing things correctly. But again, fell off a little bit towards, you know, because I had been away from a Gears of War title for so long. But in any case, very, very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. I know I, I looped them over and over again, uh, but I figured you guys would be, you know, more entertained by the really cool clips that I got rather than a full on gameplay that might not have been as entertaining. All right, guys, with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed. Definitely make sure you rate the video what you think it deserved. And if you did enjoy, please consider sharing the video as well. That kind of stuff really helps me out a lot, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or any social media really, or even word of mouth with your friends. That's really awesome too. Of course, that directly helps me as well as the entire community and is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, if you want to become a Sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. And as always, this has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite Sage, and I'll see you in the next video.